Hey everybody, welcome back to A Dose of Fashion with me, Alicia D, my second Halloween edition. I want you guys to know that you'll get back-to-back -back episodes between today and tomorrow because I didn't get to do one last week, I wasn't feeling very well, and I had a crazy busy work week. So, today I decided to dress up as the 50s sock hop girl. The ironic part about that is the first poodle skirt was created in 1947. However, when you go shopping for a 50s costume, this is the outfit that always pops up. It's the quintessential poodle skirt. Fun fact, it's pretty accurate to its era. The felt that it's made of is what the original skirt was created from. It was created from felt. A 25 year old girl by the name of Julie Lynn Charlotte had a Christmas party to go to. She had nothing to wear and no sewing skills whatsoever. Her mom owned a factory which had lots of abundance of felt lying around. So she grabbed some and decided to make a circle skirt because she could make one without having to do any seams. So minimal sewing. <clears throat> So she actually took it and she did it. It was for a Christmas party, so she put Christmas appliques on it, something like a tree or a wreath. It wasn't originally a poodle. She went to the party, was a huge hit. Everyone loved it. She got many compliments. She didn't think anything of it until later when people started requesting that she make them one. And that's how her company was born. So Think about the moments in your life that are just day-to-day -day routine for you and you don't think anything of it. You never know what moment is gonna spark an idea or a thought or just a life-changing altercation for you. She was just a 25-year-old girl going to a party and then she sparked up a company that lasted from 1947 to the 1980s, which was a pretty large span of time. Now, the poodle skirt was very popular amongst the younger kids because the poodle. And what she, her original idea behind it was she'd be out living her life day to day and she'd see all the hoity-toity women walking their cute little poodle dogs. And she was like, hmm, I'm going to put a poodle applique on a skirt. And it became wildly popular. Now, the older women actually did wear them poodle skirts as well, but it was with more sophisticated details on it. There was some with the Eiffel Tower on it. There were some with martini glasses on it. So you can put really anything on it to appeal to the older or younger generation. So the next time you think about the 50 sock hop girl uniform and you wanna think about how truly accurate it is, you can take comfort in knowing that it was pretty spot on. Now the original one had three poodles placed here, here, and here on it. And of course it had the little leash line to mimic the women walking their cute little poodle dogs. So thank you for joining me, Alicia D, for a dose of fashion. If you decide to go out and try this DIY project with your children or just yourself, felt is very inexpensive. I would love to see what you come up with. So feel free to take a picture, drop it in my comments, or just tell me about how the project went. Who knows? Or maybe I'll get inspired by your designs and decide to try one out myself. Don't have a lot of sewing skills, but if she can do it, I can do it. And so can you. So until next time, thank you for joining me, Alicia D. Don't forget to like, share, and click that little subscribe button. Comment below.